don't stress out. That's my job. <laughs> Hey, what do you hear? What do you say? My Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, Google Plus, your sister's ass, the Pony Express, a very ticked off Vic here. You know what ticks me off? Tenants and landlords. Now follow me. As I've said in the past repeatedly, that there are there's good and bad in every group. There's good and bad doctors. There's good and bad cops. There's good and bad lawyers. There's good and bad comedians. There's good and bad in everything. I think you get my drift. But naturally, talking about only good landlords and good tenants, that would be pretty boring. I'm, I'm sure there are lots of good landlords and lots of good tenants, but that wouldn't tick me off now, would it? It would make me happy. I'm sure most people watching this video have their own horror stories dealing with landlords and tenants, and I can't wait to read some of those stories. Anyway, recently, somebody very close to me who was renting had to deal with a piece of shit landlord. The landlord told her that she's selling the house in a couple of months. Now, my friend understood. She said, no problem, I understand. So as a matter of fact, she already found another apartment to rent and she had the moving people come to move all her stuff out. And then after that, a cleaning crew came in to clean out the apartment. This way she would get back her $1,500 security deposit when she gives the landlord the keys to the apartment. I saw the apartment for myself. The cleaning crew did an amazing job. It was spotless. You know, you had the, the usual little holes in a wall that held up pictures, but everything was clean and neat. All the old fixtures were replaced, and you could have eaten off the floor. That's how amazing the cleaning crew was. Okay, unfortunately, this miserable witch of a landlord said that she's taken $50 off the security deposit because she found crumbs in the kitchen sink. You heard me right. She found crumbs in the kitchen sink. I just wish I was there. I would have shoved the fucking crumbs down her throat. But I told my friend, don't stress out. That's my job. There's a great line in the movie A Bronx Tale when C was chasing after his friend who owed him $20. And Sonny pulls him aside and says, C, let it go. That's the best $20 you're ever going to lose. You're never going to see him again. And he's never going to bother you again. And that's what I told my friend. Just take off the fuck. Okay, here's the fucking $50. Give it to Let the miserable twat. Be in your rearview mirror and pray that her next shit is square. This piece of shit doesn't even realize how lucky she was to have a tenant like you for all those years. You never gave her any problem and you kept the apartment immaculate. Some landlords were just born to be miserable fucking negative scumbags. Let's talk about bad tenants, shall we? Look, I was a landlord too at one time myself. I had the tenants from hell. They ruined my credit. Took us years to have them evicted because the laws in New York are all for the tenants. They were professional tenants, if you know what I'm talking about. Professional squatters. They knew all the loopholes and all the laws, and they just soaked the system. Unfortunately, every state has different laws, but if you're a tenant in New York, baby, you got it made in the shade. Thank God those days are behind me now. The fruits of my labor paid off. I am now a happy homeowner. Landlords and tenants, that's what ticks me off.